Hey, Tom Dalton here from Under the Radar. You know, you really don't know who you are until you know where you came from. And I wanted to find out a little bit more about where Presque Hill County and Roger City came from. So I hooked up with local author Charlie Bunton. And uh, he's written some books that are pretty cool. Well, thank goodness for people like you and Ken Burns, because mm -hmm. if it weren't for guys like you, I think to really understand who you, who we are and where we're going, you've got to look back and see where mm -hmm. we came from. Right. And that's so valuable, I think, for all of us to have. Well, as you probably know, we've been to Roger City a few times yeah. on, our, on our program yeah. because yeah. we've made lifelong friends there because we love it so much. Yeah. But you've taken a few steps further. You, you've actually written, what is it, three books now? Three books. On the history of Roger City. Yeah. What are three under-the-radar things that people might not know historically about the town? Yeah, about the town or the and the county. It's uh, it's interesting how um, the history of the United States. You can really pick any small town in America, and that's going to be it'll thread through the history of the United States and major events and minor events. So you can have a gentleman that assassinated President McKinley was raised in that area. Oh, in the Roger City area? Yes. Really? Um, and then you look at the women's suffrage movement or prohibition. It was a hotbed for illegal uh, alcohol um, being brought in because it's so close to the Canadian border. Um, and then just through um, World War One, World War Two. Every major battle, if you just read the history of those battles, you could see uh, local soldiers that were under George Patton or they were um, POWs or part of the Bataan Death March or they were in Auschwitz concentration camp and then you had the American soldiers that would come in and were walking into the concentration camps within an hour after the war ended and can describe it in detail. Those were the things that just really I didn't understand. I didn't even know prior to the time. Uh, but you can just go through, you know, the last 200 years of all these major events that have taken place, like the sinking of the Reuben James. It was only a little over 140 people that went down on it, but one of them was from Roger City, and right. you know, that's one of the, the major um, things that we've heard in American history classes. The three largest um, ships to ever go down in the Great Lakes, number one was the Edmund Fitzgerald, and a lot of people know that ship, but the number two and the number three ship were both, their home ports were Roger City, mm -hmm. and the majority of the people that went down on the freighters were from Roger City two major tragedies that made national news in Time Magazine, New York Times, major news and from this really small community of less than 3,000 people. Well, you're right. You can understand, if you really want to understand America, you can study the history and the anatomy of any small town. Mm -hmm. But Roger City is exceptionally cool, I think just because of where it was, all mm -hmm. the shipping in the Great Lakes. Yeah. It's, it was a great um, harbor city. Right. Um, and just the community there, the people there from the, uh, when it went back to the lumbering days, mm -hmm. uh, the, the Native American history right. there, which you cover all that in the books, yeah. right? Yeah. So if you look at the, f the first book covers uh, the Native Americans through 1900, and even starting with the Native Americans, there's still folklore right on the banks of Lake Huron. But there is a, you know, there's a rock that's six feet high, 30 feet long, 50 feet from the shoreline that even 100 years ago, Native Americans were still putting uh, relics on. And then the lumber, that's really what brought people there was lumbering. And then its proximity to Lake Huron, it was kind of a halfway mark between the Straits of Mackinac and Bay City, where the lumber industry was in its heyday. Now that you've got a family, kids of your own, mm -hmm. what is it that you really appreciate about Rogers City in that area? Yeah, it's like, it's very different than uh, northwestern Michigan. It's, it's very unsettled. It's like stepping back in time. It's, it's slower. Um, the beaches are pristine. There's no uh, resorts built up. Uh, very unique shopping experience. So just in the last 10 years, there's been this... Uh, Renaissance is what our magazine from Detroit called it of uh, unique food shops, gift shops. Uh, they've revamped the movie theater to bring in local theater. 
um, which has brought the town on a completely different identity. Um, so my family, when we go up there, they, I can't get them to leave. Walk into a restaurant and almost everybody knows you, even if you're a visitor, because most visitors come back uh, every summer. Um, people waved you on the street. I mean, it's just a different environment that you don't get in the big city. Why don't you go ahead and give your book, your book a plug? Why don't you hold it up <clears throat> and say the name of the book there? Yeah, so it's uh, Roger City, A History of the Nautical City, and it's in three volumes. Uh, the first volume is uh, Native Americans through 1900. The second volume is uh, 1900, turn of the century through 1960. And then the third volume, which I'm finishing right now, is um, 1960 to the present day. Overall, the three books are a little over 1,500 pages wow. combined. Uh, there's about 1,200 photographs. Um, I conducted uh, almost 200 interviews, read around 750 books on the topics. And the, the, the best resource I had was the Presque County Advance, the newspaper that comes out once a week. I've read every issue from, 19, or from 1878 through 2010. So I'm, I have the last seven years to go, but every <laughs> single line of every issue. Well, even though we've been to Roger City a few times on the show, you've given us probably about four or 500 more reasons to right, go back. Right. So thanks for doing what you did. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you.